Hello everyone, my name is Key, I'm a League Assistant in the Cage Show Firmino Discord, and I'm making this video to help with a problem that I've been seeing with setting up Open Cage, and that people just kind of misconstrue how hard the process is, and are mildly confused about what's happening, and generally don't know what's going on, and they make pretty silly mistakes that are easy to fix, so I'm just going to make a quick setup video where I literally just walk dude through doing the entire setup, doing it myself, and it'll be pretty stress-free for all of us, I hope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my documents and show what I need to get this process started. So the first thing you're going to need is pcsx2, my .exe is in this folder. Uh, if you have regular pcsx2, it should be in this folder. But if you just happen to use the shortcut and have no clue where any of your pcsx2 stuff is located, right-click on the .exe. Oh, I don't know. Right-click. I'm gonna right-click on it and make a shortcut. Show to what I would do. I'd right-click on the shortcut, open file location. It should lead right to wherever the folder should, wherever the folder is. Not very complicated. I hope. That's not what I meant to do. That meant to hit delete. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need, PCSX2 ISO, and by PCSX2 ISO, I mean KH2 FMG Japanese ISO. Uh, unpatched, untouched, very crisp, very clean. Nothing done to it. Uh, if it's modified in any way, this process is not going to work properly, and nobody's going to be happy, including you. So don't do it. Not worth. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab Open Cage first. Uh, this is the main page. So if you come here from Google or to some link or whatever, you're going to want to click on Releases. I'm deliberately going to click gone uh outdated one just to prove a point later but for, uh if you're following along with this guide you're going to download this one i'm just going to download this one to prove a point but please for the love of god download this latest one up here okay download this your public uh wow my internet speed got worse i don't even know how that happens good lord um <clears throat> Oh wow, it is nose diving. How does this happen to me? The audacity of my internet. Alright, while well, that's having a life crisis over there, I'm going to show you some other pages you should have open. Uh, KH2FM mods, all in one English JP, and KH2FM mods, Tom Manus language English JP. Oh, I should clarify. If you want X to be confirmed, it's. Oh no, wait. Other way around. If you want circle on your PS. PlayStation controller to be confirmed, and you want X to be back, you want these two pages right here. So, KHFM mods, language back, and JP, KHFM mods, all one English, JP. You don't need the page itself. I just like getting the page itself for the sake of convenience, so I have like, a way to reference the name very quickly. But you're only going to need these for like one time setup, so it's not going to be incredibly complicated. So, I've pulled them up here for convenience sake, so you can just look at the video to figure out the names. If you want X, to be confirmed and circle to be back. You want language pack English and you want all in one. So basically, if it has ENJP at the end, it means your circle is confirmed and your X is back. That's your cup of tea, go for it. So that spiel is basically giving me most of the time I need for my open cage to download. My internet's particularly bad. It's not a really big file. It's like, it should take most people like seconds at most. So, file downloads should be right there. Perfect. Now you should extract it. I use 7-zip. It doesn't matter to me what you use. Just make sure you have some way to extract it into a folder. Uh, open cage, open cage. Uh, you'll understand what I'm doing in just a little bit. But for now, what I'm going to do is actually move this thing into that. And move this thing into that. Okay, now that I've done that real quick for the sake of the future, we're gonna just go to my desktop. You're gonna want to go to I'm scrolling slowly so I don't miss it. Open cage tools mods manager exe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shortcut. I'm gonna click on this shortcut. I'm gonna track the shortcut here. Don't drag your mods manager into a separate fo uh, air folder by itself. It won't work. This is why I drag the shortcut. Makes it easier. 
So we have a shortcut here. And PCSX2. Uh, this is why I said make a note of your .exe earlier. Mine's here. You should hopefully know where yours is. Place it up to some way. Make sure you do not pick open KH Game Engine. You want to do PlayStation 2 using PCSX2 emulator. Uh, now you want to pick up your ISO, wherever that is. Unmodified, please. Unmodified. So there we go. It should say successfully recognized. If it's a good ISO, if it doesn't say that you've done something wrong, or you picked the wrong path, or you've done something horrendously messed up, I don't know. Uh, I've already extracted my data. This is why this the data folder I was moving earlier was me extracting this. It took like 30, 40 seconds, but I was trying to be efficient. So what you would do is you would click extract game data, and it would extract it and stick it in wherever... Whatever folder, if you don't have it already extracted, it would stick it in the folder it shows up here. So it would be in the data folder and open cage. Uh, if you already have it extracted, you're just redoing setup. You just have to indicate where it is and you'll be fine. Uh, you're going to want to pick a game region here. Japanese if you want circle to be confirmed. And you're going to want English if you want X to be confirmed. I'm going to use Japanese first and then English just to show both sides. It's not hard. So that, that's done. Japanese, so follow this section of the guide if you want the circle to be confirmed and X to be back. So we're gonna do green arrow, green, green plus. We're gonna install this one first because it takes longer. So KH2 FM mods Tom Madness slash language path in JP. Install that'll take its time. Now, what we do is we go to the green plus again. We're going to add kh2fm mod num slash all in one in jp. All right, uh, the other one takes a bit to install from my experience. So, uh, there's alternate English patches of what have you, but I don't know about them for too well, so I'm just going to use the most common ones for both English and JP. If you want to know about more specific patches, hit someone up in the Discord. I sadly don't know. Okay, so, very important. What you want to do is that if this is the wrong order, you do not want your files to be in this order. What you're going to want to do is you're going to click on English patch, and click on this icon, so it's at the bottom. You want this to be as low, you always want your English pack to be as low priority as possible. It will make sure that the first thing the game does is translate it properly. Then the game will apply all in one English JP. That's, to my understanding, how it works, and that understanding has not led me astray yet, so I suggest you follow it as well. All right. Uh, now it runs pcs 2 ex Make sure you've enabled cheats. Make sure you're, everything's configured properly. You got your controller working, all that good stuff. All right. Uh, oh, one last thing is that for the sake of this, if you're running the randomizer, make sure you have the GOA panache and a C panache in here. F266B00B. Uh, OpenCage always uses this configuration of C, so there's no faff or blue confusion. So you're gonna want to just make sure you use these. Make sure you have these in your cheats folder and have cheats in here. Uh, if you don't, then something's gonna go wrong, and that's unfortunate. Oh, quick thing I should I should point out: folders. So some people may be like, "Hang on, it's in my cheats folder, but it's not working properly." Uh, you're going to want to go to PCSX2 config, go to plugin selector, go to folders. Actually, let me do it again because I wasn't talking when I said it. So, plugin, bio selector, and then folders right here. And you should want, make sure your cheats folder is pointing to the right spot. So, uh, cancel that. I mean, I should change anything. Uh, sorry for the terrible screen size, but this is what PCSX2 default is like. And I'm to actually change it. So this is the rando working properly. I'm in turbo just to show how quickly. As you see, the ability icon, 
works perfectly like a charm. Portals look good. The door looks pretty snazzy over there. All good stuff, all good stuff. Okay. Now that that's done, let's show how you would do the English version of this. So, what you would do is you go to Open Cage for English. So first off, if you've also if you've installed these following along with a guide, make sure they're unclicked. Next, you're going to where is it? Run Wizard. So if you're running English, you're gonna want to do this. You're gonna do that. That. Pick English, and then. I don't know which one of these you prefer. I'm just going to pick this one. I don't think there's a difference. Hopefully there's no difference. If there is a difference, I apologize. But I will pick US, 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 English. And then I will click the green arrow. Open cage slash language pack English. Install. You're then going to want to install KH2FM. Mods num all in one. Okay, so if you're running English, click those two. Make sure English is below the all in one. Fill and run. Going to go turbo for the sake of speed. And what this would do is that the, your X should be confirmed and your circle should be... The text is also slightly different, mind you, but X is confirmed, circle is back. Uh, there's panaches if you... Like, hang on, I'll showcase it very quickly. So... Let me customize... I don't know, I can still have a goofy. So my X is going to be a potion, I'm going to collect I need to lose. So, actually no. Never mind, I'm thinking of the wrong, I'm thinking of the wrong. So no, anyway. This means that your stuff's on English configuration. Uh, uh. X is jump, circle is confirm. Wrong way around. X is confirm, circle is jump. Yeah. Portals are incorrect, but I'm told there's a fix for this somewhere. I don't know where. You're gonna have to find that one. I don't use English personally, I just wanted to show you that even if I don't know how to use English, it's incredibly easy to set up. So, yeah, that's it. Open cage, set up, ready to go. You saw that the aerial dodge was the same, regardless if I picked English or JP. You wanna click the to the all-in-one in language pack for the version you want to run. Make sure you just run the wizard if you're trying to switch. And yeah, that's how you set up open cage to run the rando if you want to add your own mods or something. You know what? For the sake of keeping it simple, let me show you how to add a mod that whatever mod you want to add. For the sake of future efforts. So I'm gonna add Shinini slash Dusk, an incredible mod. Highly recommend, and it's that easy. You just find the GitHub link, and you type in this thing up here. It's I just happen to know Shinini slash just by heart for reasons that I will not confirm or deny. And let's see if the mod works. Uh, I build a run by the way before every time I run the mod the mod manager. Uh, people tell me you don't have to, but I personally just prefer doing that. I believe this is the fastest one. Portal text is wrong, but the, everything else should work just fine. If there is an issue, I don't know what we're on. Hey look, Shinini slash Dusk. That works perfectly. Look at those wonderful dusks. Alright. 
now that we've established that's working, we're going to close this very briefly. All right. Now, earlier, you may have heard me mention, or noticed, not mention. I did mention that I downloaded the wrong version of OpenCage on purpose, and I'll show you why. So this is the latest version of OpenCage that I should have. Let me open the Mods Manager. And on info, it says version 21.08.06.1. That matches up with this GitHub number right here, so I'm like one version behind. So how do I update if I want to update? Well, oh, folks, the way you update is that you download the latest version. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. So you download this latest version. And... Fabulous, it's done. Go to public. Extract. Extract these into the exact same place you extracted the... I'm going to extract them in the same place I've extracted the original one, so... I extract it here. Extract it. It's going to say right here. So what I'm going to do is it's going to make this new open cage folder. Move this to public. So now you got open cage and all these fancy stuff. I'm just going to move it here. It's going to say this destination has 396 files in the same. So I'm going to say replace. All right. Gonna delete this, delete this, delete this for clarity. This is the original one I downloaded at the beginning of the video, just for the sake of clarity. I'm just deleting that for the sake of my storage space. So I'm gonna run this. And hey, look, I've updated the newer version. Incredibly easy. Uh, if you want to download the latest version without having to find the GitHub again, you just click on download latest version. I'll show you which one it is. It's just that easy. Uh, yeah, I just had generated the stuff on the stuff. Wow, brain. I just generated the stuff on the website. Okay. But anywho, that's how easy it is to update up engage. I hope this video was informative, and if you've got any questions, feel free to ask somebody in the help channel, chat mod, league org. Most of them are happy to help through whenever they can. They do have lives, though, so don't like DM them consistently on repeat about it. Please be respectful, but if you do need help, shoot a message and help, and somebody will hopefully come around and help you. This is Key, signing off. Hopefully the video helped you out.